Oh, Alaz, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Blue Lounge. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you guys are doing well. Different setup for a pre-recorded video. I know this is normally my streaming setup, but I wanted to show you a few things today that I can't really do with my other setup. Uh, so I'm using the StreamYard tool to help me um, address some of the news that I'm going to be talking about in today's video. I'm going to be talking about the Mesa Mount situation. As per Fabrizio Romano, I'm also going to be talking about the Manuel Agote deal that seems to be making substantial progress as per Fabrizio Romano. So that is what I'm going to be addressing in today's video. But before I do, I'm asking you for a favor and that is to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And if you do subscribe, turn that bell notification button on and make sure you hit the like button on this video. I'd very much appreciate it. All right. So I want to talk to you guys about what Fabrizio Romano had to say in regards to the whole Mason Mount situation because there has been some sort of conflicted reports and I'm going to give you my take on this as well. So let's hear what Fabrizio Mono had to say. For Alexis McAllister transfer. Also important to say uh, one more thing about Mason Mount, guys. We have many reports and uh, I can say again, as we mentioned here on the channel, yes, Manchester United want Mason Mount. Yes, Manchester United will be in contact uh, after uh, this important important Saturday with the final. They will focus next week on some contacts on the market and they will be in contact with Chelsea for uh, Maison Mount. Chelsea insists asking at least 80 million for Maison Mount. May United don't want to spend that money for the midfielder. They really like him, but they believe that that money is too much for a player who's out of contract in summer 2024. So let's see this strategy game where we'll go, how long Chelsea will keep asking for their money, or if May United will decide to make different kind of proposal. But May United are there for sure. Liverpool interest remains, but May United are there. May United want to make a bid. May United want to open the situation around Mason Mount. Also because we had reports of personal terms agreed. I'm told that this is still not the case. So there is not a contract ready for Mesa Mount at Manchester United. But May United feel and feel very sure of that, that Mesa Mount would be prepared to say yes to May United in case they reach an agreement with Chelsea. So Mesa Mount would not be an issue in this story. It's about the clubs. Mesa Mount is prepared to say yes to Manchester United. Let's see what happens with the clubs and with Mauricio Pochettino, who is still hoping to keep the player at the club, but looks really unlikely now. So that's interesting what Fabrizio Romano is saying, right? Personal terms haven't been agreed, as we were led to believe by a lot of journalists. Uh, Mason Mann has already agreed personal terms. It's just a matter of the two clubs discussing, debating and coming to an agreement on the transfer fee. That hasn't been done yet. That hasn't been agreed. Mason Mount is open to the to the deal. He's open to the transfer. And why wouldn't he be if he is looking to potentially move on from Chelsea Football Club? So if he is looking to do that, he wouldn't have a problem agreeing terms with Manchester United. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing there is some sort of uh, consensus, but an agreement hasn't been reached yet. Finalisation of this personal term situation hasn't been done yet, as we were led to believe earlier. Now, in regards to the whole Mason Mount situation, we have had conflicting reports, conflicting stories from various different outlets. You know, Mason Mount's camp is adamant that no substantial offer was made for Mason Mount. Talks haven't had, talks haven't really been going on for quite some time. And there has been um, a lull in regards to the conversation between Mason Mount and the club for quite some time, months. Okay, so that is the position that Mason Mount's camp is in. Chelsea Football Club saying, no, we offered him three different offers. We, we offered to make him one of the highest earners at the club. Contra contradicting reports, contradicting stories. What is the truth? I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know. And we won't know until some time in the future. I don't think... You know, anyone is really going to know the um, the details of this deal until it is finalized, until it is done, and until, you know, um, people are made aware of exactly what happened. I think, you know, there's truth to what Chelsea is saying, and I think there's truth to what Mason Mount is saying, but is it 100% accurate? No, there's there's overlapping things in there, and we're not, neither side has given us the 100% accurate story. We'll have to wait and see how that actually does pan out. Now, I want to talk about Ugarte and what Fabrizio Romano has been saying in regards to Ugarte. Now, the whole Ugarte situation has taken a turn for the good. We knew that Ugarte was 
being pursued by Chelsea and Paris Saint-Germain. We know that a higher contract offer was made to Ugarte by Paris Saint-Germain. In regards to the transfer fee, it looked like Chelsea and Paris Saint-Germain were offering a, a, a figure that uh, Lisbon, Sport of Lisbon were happy with. Even the instalment issue seems to have been resolved. But where would Ugarte rather go? Where would he rather be? In the Premier League with Chelsea or in the league earned with Paris Saint-Germain? And it does look like Ugarte has decided or is leaning towards becoming a Chelsea player. And this is what Fabrizio Romano had to say. Let's have a look. Chelsea advancing on Emmanuel Ugarte deal and very confident. Negotiations not closed or complete yet. There are still things, there are still things, details left to get it sealed. Chelsea, Chelsea cautious on Ugarte deal until they arrive uh, to document stage after Enzo saga with Benfica in January. That was, I think, tweeted a couple of hours ago. He then went on to clarify with the following. So Fabrizio Romano said more on Emmanuel Ugarte deal. Chelsea hope to fix final details, get contract done next week. Club very confident, waiting on final steps, but careful until the end. So that is where we are in regards to Emmanuel Ugarte, as per Fabrizio Romano's last tweet, which was made about just, just over an hour ago. So what does that mean? It means that we are very close to getting Ugarte to come to Chelsea Football Club, to be that partner, that touted chemistry connection with Enzo. It looks like Agate and Enzo will be our two holding midfielders next season. Casado is also on the radar, but this looks like it's getting done. It does look like Manuel Agate will be a Chelsea player this transfer window starting next season. Very excited about Agate. Very excited to have him at the club with the players that we are looking to get rid of. You know, uh, Loftus Cheek is on the way out. Kovacic is on the way out. Mason Mount is on the way out. Kai Havas is on the way out. Um, and Barry Yang on the way out. And a whole bunch of players are going to be gone. It is good to see that Chelsea are able to bring in a player of this calibre, Ugarte's calibre. Very happy to see this transfer come through, go through. And it does look like we are moving a step closer to signing this player. Now, in regards to... You know, what we talked about earlier in you know other videos and other streams, I am still a little bit cautious and I'm still a little bit wary about these transfers because we still haven't got players to leave yet. And I know um, our squad is a massive one, lads. And we are signing Nkunku, Malagusto, looks like um, Ogate is also coming in, but we don't actually have, you know, a concrete players concrete sales on the books at the moment um mount is still a, a work in progress cover stitch is a work in progress again it does sound like they're in advanced talks um with chelsea and the players both man city and man united and by the way congratulations to man city for winning the uh, fa cup uh, earlier today it does look like man city will be getting cover stitch and man united will be getting mason mount but there are a lot of players that need to be out of that door before we start to bolster and to reinvigorate our squad with players like Ogate and furthermore. So lads, this is where we are. I was going to do a stream today, but it doesn't look like I'm going to have the opportunity to do it. So I thought I'd give you this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have done, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care yourselves, lads. Have a good one and peace.